chocolate milk. Welcome back to another episode of Budget Honda Builders. And today we're going to go over this 1996 Honda Accord. It is all stock. It's an automatic. It has a blown head gasket. This is not a fix and flip or a project car. My son bought this car for four hundred dollars. Who the fuck is honking her horn? He, uh, Jesus Christ, people, seriously. He bought it to deliver pizza in because delivering pizza is considered an essential job. So. He can make money and pay his bills. So the body on the Accord's not, you know, perfect, but it, it really ain't that bad. I mean, the paint's got, you know, scuffs all over it. The bumpers do. It's got this stupid-ass dragon decal on it. And it had it over here, but I guess the previous owner took it off. I'm not sure if he's the one that actually put it on. And the trim piece is coming off. There's a pretty big dent right here. It might be able to pop it out though. Right here, it looks like it had been wrecked and then bondoed. It's starting to crack. Same thing down here. And it's rusting. But there's a dent right here. It's all through here. But there's no real rust. I think maybe at one time it had been fixed. I'm not 100% sure. It is starting to rust here, but the bumper still hangs on. And then of course, you know, scratches on the bumper everywhere. This side has some rust right there. It's not terribly bad, but it ain't great. And then also, it's got that decal that was removed. But overall, this side, the passenger side's in really good shape. Except for all the, the stupid decal shit. It's missing the, the trim around the window. It's got it at the top. But on both sides, it's missing. But overall, I mean, the car is not in bad shape. The body's not great, but it ain't horrible. It's got just over 250,000 miles. There's no radio. The speaker, I think, is blown and the cover's missing. This door handle is fucked. The, uh, the power mirrors work. The switches work, but the passenger side window does not roll down. It's like stuck or something. You got some cup holders. It's nasty. It's missing the ashtray. And yes, it's an automatic. The console has a bunch of pills in it, and that is a... PNC bank card uh, with the account number written on it. People are not very smart. The interior is pretty clean. It's dirty, but you know, there's no tears or anything. Cigarette burns. And it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke in here. It does have cruise. I don't know if that works. It has a sunroof. It works don't know if it leaks and I was told the AC works so that's always a plus so according to this receipt found in the glove box about a year ago it had a coil plugs a cap and rotor and a valve cover gasket put in and they charged I guess $450 
I mean, <laughs> that seems a bit fucking high. But who am I to say how much labor is? Again, about a year ago, oil change and rotation, $33.87. The back seat looks like it's in pretty good shape. The front seat's in pretty good shape, just a little dirty. Same with the center console and the passenger seat. No floor mats. Well, it came with the rear floor mats. Came with some change. And it does start up. But if I don't hold, oh, look at it. That's because it's cold. Once it warms up, it'll start choking out. But it starts up good. Although, my son did replace the battery to get it home, or to get it here. In the trunk, it has a nice used toothbrush, some dirty towels, uh, an empty antifreeze container. It's got the, uh, the cover for the tool. It's got the jack, the tool, and the cover. It appears to have a full-size spare. And I'm not sure what's going on with this. Don't know where it goes, what it plugs into. I don't see any wires around that are cut or anything. It is the F22B1. There's the brand new battery. Looks like the EGR valve is new. And looks like it is flinging some type of fluid oil or power steering fluid up onto the hood although the power steering belt is dry the alternator belt alternator ac belt is wet and sticky i don't know if that hose is leaking or what but something's leaking somewhere And for what you've all been waiting for, chocolate milk. This engine makes chocolate milk. This car was like two miles away from my house. We added water to it and it is empty already or it's low so this car it, it's decent you know it's pretty nice for what it is it's um it needs to be cleaned up quite a bit um obviously it needs a little bit of work but uh, i mean it starts starts right up it runs it's just once it warms up then uh it starts bogging down and the uh if you let it idle too long it will die um obviously we don't want to run it too much as it is because the uh, oil is chocolate milk but um yeah if my son didn't buy it i was gonna buy it just because i could drive it home and it was cheap and it'd be a pretty good flip car but he bought it and we're gonna we're gonna get it fixed so there will be a whole series about replacing the head gasket on this uh it's a f22 uh i think it's an a1 um it is the vtec so it's the ex so it has all the power options, the power sunroof and whatnot. And we'll probably head to the junkyard to pick up a, a few stupid parts like the door, the interior door thing. Um, we'll figure out what's wrong with the, uh, the, power, the power window on the passenger side. I know there's several of these in the junkyard, but I think only one of them is a coupe. So we may have trouble finding pieces for it. Um, the door handle should be okay though. I mean, who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a, a series of this. It'll probably be like two or three episodes, nothing major. Um, it's just a head gasket. I'm gonna pull the head off, send it to the machine shop, and then put it right back on. Set the timing, water pump. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to the, uh, the, the Accord series. I'll see you all in the next video.